Hello, Sidekick subscribers and awesome viewers out there today. Hey, if you have just joined in the channel or found my channel via whatever search engine you're using or whatever, make sure you go ahead and subscribe because I'm bringing you daily content as a daily countdown till Shadow of War. Today is day 56 as we are expecting the release of Shadow of War on October 10th. If that changes, I'll have to change my days, but hopefully, uh, well, I'd be great if it came out sooner. But at this point, it's day 56 of the countdown. And um, last episode, we talked about how you can appoint overlords in this episode we're going to talk about how the developers have promised that no two war chiefs will be alike now that's incredible to me again we've been talking about the nemesis system and this is just again adding to the the awesomeness of it so as i mentioned the developers have promised that no two war chiefs will be alike that really comes down to number one the names and the names are all generate uh, generated randomly and uniquely and so you won't have one guy with the same name as another guy it's always going to be the same dude that you killed before who maybe cheated death but it's never going to be the same name furthermore what's also awesome is all the additional stats in which we haven't completely gone over in this uh, here current series but I hope to maybe in the future go over each and every one of those we'll get to that on a later date but at this point what you need to know is that um, just as we see in Shadow of Mordor and how they have different unique traits and abilities or even weaknesses so will be in the Nemesis system 2.0 as I'm dubbing it and uh, with then some. I mean, it's not just the base, what we all heard and learned from Shadow of Mordor, but it's also many more things. And I have yet to reveal those, but you can surely check those out, and we'll have to review them at a later episode. Now, more than ever the, than before, there will be a vast variety to your enemies and the fights. So the, here's what I'm excited about. You know how it got kind of boring at times in Shadow of Mordor where you just became too godlike and it was easy to defeat your enemies? Well, it's going to be much more difficult, especially if you turn on hard mode, which I'll talk about in a later episode. But anyway, what you can expect is that there's such variety to your enemies that no two fights will really feel the same. I mean, eventually, yeah, you do enough fights, it's kind of the same, but it's really going to be much more vastly varying. And so with the introduction of new elemental damages such as fire, poison, and ice, um, we can expect those uh, various fights to take quite a turn. For example, one guy could be immune to fire, while another guy is enraged by ice damage. So you want to be able to customize um, Talion and uh, your Wraith friend Celebrimbor up for an upcoming battle, especially if you can do some scout missions in advance and kind of get an idea with some intel of what kind of uh, enemies you're going up against. So in addition to that, there's countless buffs. Uh, various clans, which we talked about before, and if you don't know what the clans or tribes as they're called, um, you can go back and watch the beginning episodes from like 70 to 71. I talked about those. Um, so again, check the playlist below in the description if you'd like to learn more about that. Um, but also there's different classes of orcs and uh, weaknesses every battle uh, that and strengths that every battle will be unique and it's challenge. So that's super exciting. I don't know about you guys, but that seems awesome to me. And I'd love to hear your comments below. Um, leave some questions if you have some ideas of what that might be. Um, but also leave some comments of what you hope to go up against and your excitement about Shadow of War and how it will bring a more unique challenge. And honestly, it's going to be more time fun uh, in playing the game. So I uh, hope you enjoy that little bit of tidbit. And the next episode, we're going to talk about the fight scene we see with the cursed mark on the orc. Do you remember that? And that was in the gameplay trailer. We're going to talk about that in the next episode on day 55, but without further ado, here's some gameplay from Shadow of Mordor 1. Hey, welcome! So, this is the gameplay to uh, Shadow of Mordor. Very fun. Check out these guys chilling, having a good time. Is that guy dead? Oh my. No, he's still alive. He moved. Alright, so, um, yeah, this is uh, pretty exciting, Queen of the Shore. We're going to start to discover the power of the Wraith. So this is something we've all been looking forward to, and I hope you're looking forward to it too, because you know what that means? Branding time. <laughs> Could it get any better? Well, we're going to find out. Obviously it will, because branding is going to be so awesome. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> mm. mm. Thank you. I found the Mithril Hammer. <sighs> Can your flames show me why my soul was denied death? Ah, uh, her eyes are black. You are the victim of a blood sacrifice. Chemical. 
curse be broken. Destroy the Black Hand and his followers and claim Mordor. No men of Gondor will come to my aid. <laughs> Them. Your power begets followers, willing or otherwise. An orc army. How? How do I do this? Your answers are in the fortress nearby, but what you seek may not be there for much longer. She needs to get herself a doctor because it's not normal for your eyes to turn black. <laughs> Is it? Marwin's decree was speed. The future must be met. Mmm, speed. Speed indeed. So we'll have to come back for this uh, little golden trinket. Wait, or unless if it's like literally right here. No, not here. Alright, so let's keep moving. Because uh, we got only a minute or so to travel. 500 or so fight. Tales of elves that could make swords that are so short. And of course, all those idiots won't even sniff me. So why is it that this has got to be timed? I hate time missions. Oh, I hate them so much. Just blow people to smithereens. You didn't see nothing. Just Flaming flames everywhere. I see them, but they don't see me. That's so pathetic. Okay. We made it, didn't we? Okay, we made it. Oh, this is why it was timed. Saving people's lives is... Yeah, okay. But what they carry... I will save them nonetheless. Don't be blinded by your emotions. The Queen told us our answers to building an orc army lie within this fortress. If we brand those archers, we can build our army and save these men at the same time. Well, there you go. So apparently the answer he was wanting is suddenly just... <laughs> there? Like, what? Okay. Well, nonetheless, let's go brand some fools. Show yeah, they're never gonna see what came until there was daylight. Stealth brand. Your will is mine. Caleb Brimbor said that so kindly. He was like, "Your will is mine." Um, how are we gonna do this? Um, let's jump to this guy. Can we can we brand him? Okay, there we go. <laughs> it's like, he got punched by me. Didn't see what happened. Saw, I mean, saw everything, and then I could still stealth brand. I don't know what happened. Oh, wow, he's being so, like, poetic now. Like, so poetic about this whole process of having your free will completely ripped from your... Brain that will pierce your mortal will. Your mortal will is mine, you fool. Let your hand be guided by silver. Witness the flame and be led to your. Here we go. Okay. The gut. How shall we make them bleed? Is that an archer? Okay, yeah, that's an archer. Too quick. Okay, very good, very good. We still got a minute thirty. Oh, okay, no, we're good. It's all all done. And we're just gonna go ahead and get you for good measure. Okay, and then let's take out some um, shield bashers. Yep, where's the one? They're all shielders, huh? No, just a few of them that aren't, but majority. They're just starting to catch on what's happening around here. 
Um, hey, come at me, Berserker. Oh, come on, guys. Start to, uh, yeah, shoot your arrows. It's about time. Berserkers! Berserkers! Berserkers be berserking. Hey, you can um, die. I was going to stealth brand him, but... Or uh, brand, but that didn't happen. That didn't work necessarily. All right, let's see another cutscene, shall we? Kind of forgot the move. It was an A, A, B, I think, is it? The Lady of the Shore sent you to our aid. <laughs> the Queen warned us to wait until the end of the battle. Then you all spotted I us. I told you, the visions always come to pass. Uh, yes, but I told you not to. Are those guys twins? Uh, Queen Marwyn sent us to find this. That was good, man. Oh, 20, let me 20 reinforcements. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, let's commence by shooting this. And um, there we go. <laughs> that was simple enough, wasn't it? Thing to kill these it is another to make them our followers. It is a gift. We can use the weapon of the enemy against him. Oh, come on. Wait, why is he going in slow motion? That That's fascinating. Yes, so oh man. Another, another. Oh, that was fantastic. It was like branding slow motion death. I'm gonna that was so fantastic. You know, that was the best cutscene ever. I'm just gonna have to go back and watch that for my own viewing pleasure. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and um don't forget to hit the like button if you've been enjoying this series and go ahead and add that playlist to your possible daily playlist because after all i am doing daily content so um come back for tomorrow i'm gonna have some more fun hope you guys enjoy it and more shadow of war information thanks so much for watching later